From announcing the controversial boycott of mobile phone giant Safaricom, leading edible oils and detergents manufacturer Bidco Company and dairy manufacturer Brookside that is linked to the Kenyatta family. When it comes to Jubilee, resist. 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 The opposition is now scaling up its resistance against the Jubilee regime, which it says is a product of alleged fraud election. NASA is now planning to introduce street demonstrations to oppose Uhuru's presidency. These people's assemblies will give the people of Kenya a path towards taking our country back and recalling back the sovereignty of the people that had been delegated to the various institutions. The opposition also plots to petition county assemblies across the country to pass a no-confidence vote against the president and his deputy. We think this journey is not going to be long. Uh, we want to make it short so that we can resolve the problems of the day and Kenyans can go back to their lives. This is one-time Raila ally and advisor Miguna Miguna returned into the Odinga fold. Miguna, who had gone to the extent of publishing a book, allegedly unmasking his former boss, now supporting the resistance cause. And we will do everything necessary to remove him from the position that he occupies illegitimately. Now many will ask, does that mean you will do this unconstitutionally? No. Our actions are vested squarely in the constitution. The opposition will stage a rally in Kibra on Sunday to extend its products boycott gospel and champion the anti-Uhuru Kenyatta crusade. This is Western Kenya leaders affiliated to the Jubilee Party opposed the announced boycott and planned protest by NASA. We condemn in the strongest terms possible any attempt to export violence and incitement into our region and to other parts of Kenya. We reject in totality the reckless talk of secession and economic sabotage. Samugina, Citizen Weekend.